cooking is like it involves heat sometimes, or does it? Today it does not because we are making ceviche. Ceviche is a famous Peruvian dish where you're going to take raw things like this fish here, or in this case, fish is because we have two different species of fish. The halibut, while being delicious, it's also a very ugly fish. I feel bad for it because um, it is so delicious, but it is so ugly. It's so easy to kill, but man, it's good. Nice, white, flaky thing. And then, of course, the swordfish, you know, you just don't know where it's going to come from. And if I were to fight somebody with a sword, sword on sword, no, sword on gun, preferred, or sword with axe. So we're gonna try to incorporate my battle axe today while we make the ceviche. Ceviche is super straightforward. You have your fish, then you have your citrus and, uh, and spice and flavoring. The citrus is what is gonna kinda cook or kill the bacteria in the fish. Ceviche is really just like a lot of cutting and squeezing. So I'm really good at this because I'm good at cutting and I'm good at squeezing. Damian Maya, one of the best grapplers in the history of the UFC, I love what he says about the squeeze. He says every single choke has a different squeeze. So you wanna find the balance to your own palate. And before you start adding the raw fish, you can take little, little tastes of that, that tastes good. Or, hmm, that's too sour. I'm gonna add some more oranges in there. Uh, and same thing with, you can put all of your salts and herbs in there ahead of time so you can really get the flavor. So then lastly, when you add the fish and let it just start marinating, then it just takes time. Time is really the, the leveler on this battlefield. Makes everything even. Time. We're gonna get you bacteria. All right, here we go. So uh, let's start with a lemon. Whoa, shit. Let's go to another lemon. Let's let that one go. We can, uh, now I think it's really important that you always cut your lemons. No, it doesn't matter. You just cut them. One of the bummer things about lemon is they have lots of seeds. So if you wanna take a shortcut, you can throw a strainer in there. So then you don't have to sit there and like, like this. Look, 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 how, many, how, many, how many seats are in here? I don't even know how many seats are in Look at that, four, five. Yeah, a lot, there's a lot of squeezing about to happen here. It's kind of, it looks daunting. I could do this. All right, back at it. If you get bored at any point with all of this squeezing, with all of this cutting, and you wanna, you wanna spice things up a little bit, you know, just like, I mean, axes are really useful. Um, not only can you kill people with them, but it helps with boredom. Oh, when you're buying your oranges, you can grab those big old oranges, or you can try and find oranges that are gonna fit in your squeezer. Thinking ahead, you know? This is a smart man's game. Ceviche. I don't wanna waste any extra bit of juice, so I squeezed two, but now I'm gonna look at all that extra juice I got out of there. Benefits of having monkey hands. Mm -hmm. So, ceviche historically was on the menu for a lot of uh, war campaigns in Central and South America because the generals, the commanders, wouldn't allow their troops to use fire and the acid would. Uh, preserve the food for extended periods of time, they found that ceviche was a great option, not only for the surreptitiousness, the surreptitious nature of warfare, but also because it preserved their food extra long. I made all of that up right there. I don't know if that's true. I, it makes sense though, <laughs> but that's a Tim fact, and a Tim fact is not really a fact. It's probably not factual. This is fun though. I'm switching, into, I'm switching to my left hand because my right hand's getting fatigued. It's not true. I never get tired. I wonder if I just do it better with my hands. Nope. Squeezer. Squeezer does a better job. I'm done. Oh, no. Yeah, we're going to need a lot more here. 
I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep hammering. It's a little nod to Cameron Haynes. Hey, if you come to Austin and you don't help me shoot my bow better, my feelings will be hurt like they are right now. All right, let's take a little peek here. Oh yeah, a Texas sweet onion. Again, nothing can make me cry to include an onion, but the Texas sweet onion has no chance. I'm reminiscing to the time when I was working at In-N-Out Burger as a young lad of 16 years old. And uh, when you would cut onions or peel onions, you were only allowed because of like product waste. And you'd be very specific, like you could only take out the, the furthest most outer layer. And if you took off too much, you could get in trouble. You'd be like, oh, you're being wasteful, you know, or like you're peeling potatoes in the back. Now, there, there's, a, there's a part of me that's like, yeah, that's a good amount. Maybe, maybe just a pinch more. Okay, then this, Steve Conk, manager for In-N-Out Burger. Baller with the onion. Hmm. Oh, see like this? I, I would go to, I would go to In-N-Out jail for this. Cause you had to use like these little, um, what do they call those? A melon scooper and like scoop out that part and then save all the other bit. Hopefully you're looking at the tomatoes and not my face cause I'm doing my concentrate face, which I think is a really ugly face. It's like this. Oh yeah, look at that dog. Look at that. Now we're gonna put in the spice. Now, uh, you need the flavor of the pepper because the pepper's delicious. I often use jalapeno in my ceviche, serrano, but um, my mom is gonna be joining us for dinner tomorrow and she is not about the spice. So I'll show you the a method of, if you want to get as much heat out of your pepper as you can, slice your pepper open, right? Then all you do is scrape out all the seeds. Oh, ninja hands, you know? I still got it, I still got it. Can't get out of here. Going back to the UFC, that sealed the deal right there. I still got the hand speed. Come for the 205 title. If you're having any uh, like sinus issues, a great thing to do is once you get all of these seeds out, you put it into a cup of um, boiling hot water and you just let it marinate in there. And then you take a towel and you drape it over your head and you sit and take in all the boiling uh, essence of the serrano pepper. It will really clear out your sinuses. I mean, magical. <laughs> Done. It's like, a, it's like pepper spray. So, or do that, and then you know what it feels like to be pepper sprayed. All right, so uh, peppers sliced. Now we still have to dice, but before we do that, this is just ice and water. That's it. Just trying to rinse off all of the seeds. Now, if you are a chemist or a botanist, and you can explain to me how and why that takes all of the spice out of here. Look at, see that like milky? All right, dun dun dun. Let's go with the halibut first. All right, so our goal, you know, if, if I take this whole fish and I drop it in there, I'm gonna have to wait a while for the acid to get into this deep portion of the fish. So I want as much surface area of the fish exposed to the acid. So I want nice, short, clean cuts so I can have tiny little bits of fish mixed in through the whole entire ceviche. Um, so, 
there have, I have had a variety of ceviche recipes that have evolved and developed over time. Um, when I was in 7th Special Forces Group, I would have to travel to South America pretty often. And, uh, and then I had a TV show where I was working in South America and living down there. Um, so I fell in love with ceviche. Um, I think it's uh, a really, really healthy and safe option when you're on the road and eating on the road. It's sometimes hard to get good, healthy, high protein, low fat, low salt options. So this is like as an athlete, this is a great dish. Now we are going to fold all of the ingredients in. I'm gonna add a little bit of um, garlic salt, onion powder, garlic powder. I'm gonna add a little extra garlic powder because oftentimes I'll put fresh garlic cloves in here. I'm not this time. And you get all the fish underneath the acid and let it just sit down in here. So, but this just has to now uh, cook and be deadly and kill. All right, you go find that bacteria and you win. You win, acid. Okay. All right, well, ceviche, I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. All right. So, we have let our ceviche sit for 24 hours. Now, we just need to get ready to uh, serve it. And you can really serve it any way that you want. This has just been sitting, marinating. Uh, so it's fun, you don't have this fishy smell. It almost smells like salsa, like a citrusy salsa. We had a vicious workout this morning. See how sharp that knife was. <laughs> what are you laughing at over there? <laughs> and ow. just kidding. I like your concern though. This should have been done with a like a war hammer. That's something I don't have. It's a good war hammer. While we're getting this ready, uh, I'm gonna, we need to know what you want to see me cook next. Um, a vodka sauce, uh, an elk lasagna, my famous tacos. Uh, you know, wh why cook for yourself? Why don't you just go to the store, get a pre-packaged thing of ceviche? One is, I think, the work that you put in it, you can taste the, like the love. I needed to learn all the, the cooking words. I know all those cooking people feel so smart when they're like, well, this type of stirring is, I don't know, insert some stupid name. So that's what you want every bite to look like. I'll bowl it so we can plate it and present it. But that is the, uh, everything. The fish like melts, just like falls apart. And then you get this bah, 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 of the citrus, but not sour, not tart. Just just like nice, clean, crisp break. It's like, it makes you lightheaded, it's so good. It's like, bah. All right, so, uh, this was our ceviche. Let's take a big bite of fish here. Like that. Mm. Okay. So, if you want me to cook something specific, ask. Say, hey. My family does this. What would your version of that be? Let us know in the comment section. Please follow this page. Um, check out my Instagram. And, uh, but most important, find a, 
a fish, kill it, and then make some ceviche because it's worth it. This is so good. Uh, appreciate you guys checking out this page and uh, come back for the next recipe. We're gonna try and drop these, I don't know, every week or so, maybe every other week, scheduling permitting. But uh, we got some awesome things in the queue, a lot more wild stuff, crazy caught. Um, was once alive, then it met Tim, and it's no longer alive, and then we eat it. So stay safe and stay free, deadly and delicious.